All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Haven here. First off, if you're new here, subscribe. I do War Thunder stuff, blah, 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 blah. Okay, let's jump right into it. So I'm trying this. Uh, I, I've done a couple shorts now, if you haven't seen those shorts. But but basically, I've been doing some energy trap highlights, right? So one of the coolest things you can do in air realistic battles for War Thunder is energy trap someone. It's just super satisfying, It's and it's more art than science uh, and it's really fun to to really be able to pull off your first energy trap so i've been making shorts which i hope you guys are enjoying where i pull off a, an energy trap or whatever and people ask there's like oh man i'd love to be able to do an energy trap i'm just not very good at it how do you do it and i thought hey i've got this really straightforward clip here where I pull an energy trap on it, and it's probably the simplest way to energy trap someone. All right, so so first things that you need to know is that you need to sort of understand your plane, right? So I'm in a Spitfire. Uh, this is a really easy one to do energy traps in. Spitfires have good performance. They've got good turn fighting capability. They really kind of uh, a good one to maybe practice this in. But you do need to know your plane you need to have a pretty good idea on how long it's going to take you to kick over at the top of your energy trap. Um, you know, are you going to do a hammerhead like a Falk, Falk Wolf uh, 190? Are you going to do like a rudder kick? Uh, are you going to do, you know, do you need to use your flaps to tighten up the top of the turn? What's your plane weight? Like, is it super sluggish at the top of your uh, loop? And that all kind of factors into your timing for when you're trying to pull off an energy trap. So I'm just going to hit play on this because I've been doing a lot of talking and I want you guys to see this and it'll be entertaining and then we will break it down and talk to it. So I'm in three minutes and 47 seconds. Let's just watch what happens and then we'll break it down. So I've got this guy advancing to me. I'm seeing his closing speed. I know what my speed is at. I'm at 360. He's now pitching up to me. I can see him doing that and I'm keeping him away from me. I'm seeing how far he is away from me. I'm watching his distance. And I can just hear him shooting, shooting, shooting. He's still shooting. And that closing distance is no longer rapidly closing. So we kick over. We energy trap him and kill him. And I rip off my flaps. That's not part of the tutorial. Don't do the ripping off the flaps part. Uh, but that's a pretty straightforward energy trap. So let's break it down. You need to know your speed. So I'm at 300 and... 46 kilometers an hour, which is pretty fast at this BR rating. I'm facing a P63, and what I'm watching is his closing rate. So he starts out here. I get I spot him way out here at six kilometers out, and I'm going 380. He's going, and we're closing pretty rapidly. So he's pretty quick. I'm pretty quick. This is the first thing I really want to get a gauge for: is how rapidly is this distance closing. If it's closing very slowly, it, then he's obviously not got much speed. I almost misjudged this energy trap because he's got a lot more speed than I'm thinking here. I did not pay attention to this uh, closing rate probably enough. And it and it, may, it meant that I had to spend more time maneuvering at the top of my uh, loop to stay out of his guns than I would have liked to. So he's pretty much flying in a straight line. He's probably pushing... 350 380 himself and i'm doing this too but the biggest energy disadvantage that he's got is that i'm way above him i probably have a thousand meters of uh height on him that he's just not going to be able to overcome now another mistake that i see is people will just take a head on in this situation don't take a head on i've got a thousand meters of probably uh elevation on him i don't need to take a head on i'm going to energy trap him and even if i decide not to energy trap i'll um, just fly over him and then loop over on top of him okay but i'm going to try and pull this energy trap trap so i'm watching the closing rate when he gets to be about a kilometer away and now I, I that was another thing so i checked i zoomed in on him and i checked to see where's his nose and he's pointed at me like this is a flat profile of this plane he is pointed directly at me this indicates this guy is absolutely able to be energy trapped there's no question that this guy is basically full committing for me he's full committing at me at two kilometers out this guy is is falling for this energy trap that's a really good indicator and and i'm i'm not trying to beat up this guy i want to like cover up his name i'm not trying to beat up this guy but He's just probably a newer player, and he's he's easily going to fall into this trap. He is angled at me at two kilometers out. He's expecting to be able to reach me 
he's expecting like some sort of head on situation. But now that I've noticed that, I'm not going to fall for it. Why would I endanger my fragile plane? He is going to be energy trapped. That's my indication. So I zoom out and now I'm watching the distance. You see, I start to pull away from him at a kilometer and a half. What I want to do is I want to maintain this roughly this distance to where I know he can't get guns on me. Most people cannot make, land a shot at a kilometer out. They just, they just, they don't practice it. It's really difficult to do on a maneuvering. So I am taking my plane up and away from him to keep this distance. I want this to shrink, but I want to control with how much it is shrinking. And basically I never want to allow him to be within a kilometer or 0.8 kilometers within me. That's what she said. <laughs> uh, within distance because that's when most people can't make that shot. So I'm already starting my maneuver away from him. I'm, it's basically going to draw him up. He's at a kilometer and a half out. And you'll see I really never try and let him get closer than one kilometer. In this particular instance, I let him get a little closer than I would like. And he gets within, I think, 0.8. And then at the really tip top part of my loop, I, I think it's down to like 0.6. But he... At that point of the energy trap should have really been stalling out. So I, 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 I stayed pretty safe. He never landed a shot on me, but I'm just letting you know, that's the art of it. The art of it is the distance in which you allow them to close into you. So I'm pulling away. He's still rapidly closing that distance. So I'm pretty much flying away from him and up. So I've really tried to cut that speed at which this distance is closing as much as possible. Um, but at the same time, if you just turn around and fly away, they're not going to fall for it. So you got to give them a little hope. You got to give them a little hope. You got to let the distance close, but you can't let it close so much that you're going to give them an, an easy shot. And that's the art. So I'm letting him close, but I'm watching the rate of this closure very carefully and sort of instinctively maneuvering away from him as I see that it's closing quickly or starting to do the loop over if it seems to be maintaining a consistent amount. So you, let's just will it at play. So it's pretty much stalled out here. At this point, I'm actually gonna fly towards him a little bit because I wanna keep him engaged. I wanna keep him hopeful that he's gonna land this shot. He's firing away at a kilometer away. I'm providing the blade, I'm blading him so that he's not, he doesn't have an easy shot. So I'm bladed over the top of him. We're at a kilometer out, he's making, what I would consider wild shots. My speed is decreased down to 190, so I do end up popping out the flaps and I rip them off. It's not that's not a good part of this clip, but I do want to maintain my maneuverability. So you're probably going to need to deploy flaps. So just watch your speed, get a feel for your own plane. The other thing that you're going to look for at this point is he's a kilometer out and now you've got him kind of right where you want him. You're blading, he's trying to pull up. Now you're going to kind of watch for, and it's going to be difficult to see in this clip because of the white snow. But one of the easiest ways to tell if they are out of speed is if you see the little contrails off their wings. That means they have really lost all their speed and it's time to fall on top of them. So I'm just going to let this play. So he, he's got more speed than I'd like. So I try and go away from him again because he's gotten a little closer than I would like. Um, but he's still 0.8 ish is what I would really cons like for him to be. Uh, but he's full commit. And I just wasn't expecting him to have that much speed. But again, I'm doing pretty good dodging. So he, he got a little closer than I'd like, but I still think this is a pretty good example. Now he is, he is pointed straight up. And this is a little bit of danger here. This is the danger part of this. He's again, a little closer than I'd like, but at this point, he is not closed from 7.7 .7 in a while. He's still going to close a little bit, but he's out of energy. He's pointed straight up. And at this point, it's time for us to point noses at each other. And what I'm anticipating is going to happen is that he's not going to be able to continue to point straight up. I've given him a lot of hope. He is really committed to this, and he is basically stalled out. So here we go. So I'm nosing over. And you can see here, I, I'm, I'm looking at this, 
if he was still pointed directly at me, I would be in danger. But right here, he's done. He can't keep his nose pointed straight up. He's already falling back down. He's This is not a flat profile. So I have full permission at this point, and I should be retracting my flaps, which is why they rip off. But I have full permission at this point to take a full commit head on because he is done. He's no way is he getting the nose pointed at me anymore. And I, you know, don't miss your opportunity. I wish I could have been a little bit more accurate there, but don't miss your opportunity. You got ammunition in this point. This is going to be one of your best shots. Take the shot. So again, he, you can watch him again. We'll just watch this in full speed here. Watch the close your way. Watch when I decide to fall on top of him. And I really wish I could see the white contrails on his wings, but I'm just going to play full speed. He knows he's done. He can't keep the nose pointed at me. And there you go, rip my flaps off. And of course we lose the game on tickets or whatever, but that's probably the easiest way to pull off uh, a, a energy trap is sort of the enemies flying directly at you from way below and they just angle up at you. A lot of people will miss a chance to energy trap someone when they do that because they're like, oh my gosh, I gotta engage them. This is a desperation attempt. They know that they're below you. What their best tactic to do is to point at you and have you engage them in a head-on because that gives them a coin flip. Right now, he's beat. If you point your nose at him and y'all take a full head-on, he's got at least a coin flip. If I angle away from him, he's got no chance, right? And so, so close your rate, checked his nose, angle away. Dodge his shots. Try and get over the top of him. Be prepared to drop. Drop your flaps. Now take the shot. And that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this was helpful if you're trying to new play and you're trying to learn how to do energy traps. Hopefully this was a useful video. If you found it to be useful, please share. Please subscribe and uh, get the word out on the channel. I'm going to be doing shorts and other stuff, but every now and then, if you guys have questions, comments that need to be answered, I might do a short video on it too. Um, thanks guys. Have a good one.